Hi and welcome to London. We are at the Computing Conference 2018 and I'm joined by Professor Bruce Lester from the Maharishi University in Iowa. How are you doing? Doing great. Yeah, how are you enjoying the conference so far? It's very interesting. Yeah. A lot of varied papers, interesting things going on in different areas being presented. Wow, okay, that's good to hear. Um, now you have been focusing on parallel c computing. Very quickly, what does that entail? Uh, parallel computing means either multiple processors or multiple cores within a single processor. Right. And that can speed up the execution of a single program or if you have multiple applications running on the computer, it can, it can speed up those. So, and that's important performance-wise? Yes, it makes the computer run faster, which is what computing is all about. Exactly. No, that's good. Well, you've told me before we started recording that you've seen the entire journey from it being a theory to now actually being daily applied everywhere. What is that like to start in somewhere in the, in the 70s and now seeing it everywhere around us? It's been very fulfilling for me. Actually, I was very fortunate to be in the research group of Professor Jack Dennis at MIT, who's very, very well known. And he mm. had the idea that parallel computing was a natural way to do things. And that was just an idea? That was his idea, yeah. So I, I was a student of his, so I took that idea and I developed it in my PhD dissertation. And I've been doing research in that field ever since. And I've seen it grow from a, a research idea to, uh, in the 80s, they started having practical right, parallel yeah. computers, commercial machines with multiple processors. And then the uh, standard for supercomputing became parallel computing. And now the standard for all computers is parallel computing. All new computers have processors with multiple cores now, which means they're essentially parallel computers. Yeah. Do we need to research it further, or, or are we there? We're there as far as the hardware is concerned, hmm. but as far as the software is concerned, we're not quite there yet. It turns out that in order to really utilize the full potential of all these different cores for a single program, mm -hmm. it requires some reprogramming. The software, the, the, the programming languages have to have some features in them for expressing the parallelism. Yeah. It can't be done automatically by the okay. operating system. And it's turned out that the features and, and patterns that are available now make it more difficult to write parallel programs mm. than ordinary sequential programs. And so people are reluctant to do the parallel program because right. it's more difficult to develop the software. So what's needed is some research to develop some better uh, features and some better programming techniques and patterns that make it easier to write the parallel program. And that's what you're working on? That's what I'm working at, on, yeah. At the moment. Are there any re results you can already share? Um, yes, my, the paper that I presented at this conference mm -hmm. had some ideas that I've developed for using what's called the map reduce pattern, mm -hmm. where instead of having some shared data, some shared data structures that are used by multiple <coughs> cores in parallel, the uh, sh shared data is broken up into pieces, right. and each piece is assigned to a separate uh, core, a separate processor, and they work on the uh, separate pieces uh, locally, mm -hmm. which is much faster than trying to uh, all converge on a single shared copy of data. So that's one idea I had. Well, that's good, well, because it will have a big impact, I think. So I've, I've had some good results with getting some very good speed ups on, on ordinary programs. And, and where will it go o over the next couple of years? What do you think will happen? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? You, you have an idea, maybe a view, or you can guess? I think, well, there's more and more features are being introduced into, into the various high-level mm -hmm. languages. and. Um, Hopefully people will develop some features and patterns that make it easier to write parallel programs. If I knew what the solution was, I'd be doing it myself. Well, you would be making a lot of money, <laughs> I guess, if you knew what was going to happen in the, in the future. I can, can imagine that. Um, are there any key ch challenges that you're facing in the moment in your research or maybe you see around you? Yeah, the, 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 the main thing is that by making the program parallel, it becomes sort of more complex. Hmm. And there's, well, there's new kinds of errors that get introduced in, in, in the program due to the parallelism. So it's, what's needed is some way to express the parallelism in a way that, that doesn't introduce these kinds of errors. Right. And it so you want to avoid makes it. Yeah. The, it makes it simpler. Actually, parallelism should be the natural way to express things because the nature operates in a parallel way. Mm -hmm. Everything's going on all at the same time. Se sequential is more of a, an artificial thing. Right. So it should be able to be possible to express parallelism in a way that, that's simple and easy to deal with. It doesn't make things more complex. Okay, so I hope you're getting there with your research. We could all benefit from it, I'm sure. Thank you for being here with us. And if you watch any more videos, you can just click on them here below. And I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.